I am in the uh, belly of the beast here inside a large wine cave as you can see uh, what it looks like. There's my tour back there. These uh, I thought were kind of cool to show. They are concrete eggs. So sometimes they make wine inside steel and if they do inside steel it's an anaerobic environment which means the air never touches the uh, wine, so it's good for white wines. People make wine inside barrels, which gives a lot of uh, air, goes slowly through the uh, slowly through the barrel uh, when the wine's in there over the course of two years, of course, and uh, gives it a little bit of oxidation. It makes the wine easier to drink. It also gives oak flavor. So the eggs here are kind of between that. They are uh, let a small amount of air through, but do not give any oak flavor to the wine. Uh, on top of that, these are a very old invention. They've been around for thousands of years. Wine was actually made this way before it was made in barrels. Uh, they stir themselves. So you can see an egg here. The, it'll, the wine will be here. It'll kind of sink to the bottom. Uh, it'll come up on the sides. As it comes up on the sides, it cools, and then it drops back down in the middle. So it keeps kind of doing this kind of motion uh, like that. And uh, they stir themselves, so it give the wine more body and uh, without giving oak flavor. They're, uh, Kind of cool to see. You're seeing more and more of these in uh, in Napa. A lot of wineries are getting them. They come from France. I don't know if there's any producers of these eggs in the United States yet, but uh, it'd be a great business business proposition to do if uh, someone was interested in making these eggs here. They sell for about twenty thousand a piece, so uh, not cheap. It could definitely be some good money in there for uh, any concrete dealers or uh, concrete uh, manufacturers. Uh, hope you enjoy the video and uh, keep making more.